This video is about laying pipes in joisted floors. Now pipes are laid in joisted floors between the solid timber joists and you must ensure that the pipes are correctly supported and the important thing and the reason why there are so many rules regarding this is that you cannot do anything which will weaken the joist to the point where it might break. So there are rules about how deep you can put notches and how big you can drill holes. So in your books you will have pictures similar to this with a lot of lines and numbers on them. And in this video I am hoping to explain to you what these all mean and then at the end of the video I'll have a couple of example questions the type of questions you might be given on your ACS assessment to see if you've worked out how to correctly answer the questions so pipes are laid across solid timber joists and located in purpose made notches these are notches that you will make or circular holes and these are holes that you will drill here's a straightforward exam question for you do not notch joists of less than 100 millimeters if they give you an exam question and the depth of the joist is less than 100 millimeters the answer will be that's not allowed okay you are not allowed to notch joists of less than 100 millimeters here's an example obviously a close-up all the pictures look very similar to this some of them instead of using decimal numbers they use fractions so it will say for example on this picture where it says 0 0.1 of the length L it will say one tenth of the span the length and the span are both the same and the important thing to look at here is it's not the entire length of the plank of wood the length or the span the L on this drawing is between the walls not the entire length of the joist so you've got two main measurements that everything else is taken from and that is the length L and the depth D everything refers to the length or the depth here's an example not a very good example of some notching so that you know exactly what I'm talking about these are notches in joists and now we'll discuss the rules regarding what you can and can't do with them for the purpose of this exercise we're going to say that the length or the span is 2300 millimeters now please get used to measuring everything in millimeters it makes your life so much easier so the length is 2300 millimeters and the depth of the joist is 600 millimeters for this exercise 
that's what we're going to use. Remember that there must be 100 millimeters between the edge of any hole that you drill and the edge of any notch. So let's have a closer look at what's going on here. You've got to make reference here both to the length and the depth. So we've got a length of 2300 and a depth of 600 in this example. So you are not allowed to start your notch any closer than 0.1 of the length. And you're not allowed to end it any further away than 0.2 of the length. So your notch runs from a maximum of 0.1 the length at the inside and 0.2 of the length at the outside. We'll do some figures with this in a minute to explain it. You're not allowed to cut your notch any deeper than 0.15 of the depth. This is all to make sure you do not weaken the joist. So in this example, the length was 2,300 millimeters. So to make sure you're not any closer, you just do 2,300 times 0.1. And that means the nearest you can start your notch to the edge of the joist is 230 millimeters. You do the same with the 0.2, so that's 2300 times 0.2. And the furthest away that you can end your notch is 460 millimeters. You can cut a notch anywhere within that range. So between 230 millimeters and 460 millimeters on this example, you can cut your notch and it will be legal. Remember, there's a minimum of 100 millimeters between any hole and any notch. So now we'll move on to holes. Slightly different drawing, there's always uh, two drawings because it's difficult to combine both ideas in one. They'll be in your book. So holes work from the same principle as notches. You've still got to worry about your length and your depth. Again, you can't start a hole any closer to the edge than 0.25, which is a quarter of the length. And you can't end your holes any further than 0.4, that's 4 tenths of the length. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at that. Again, it's 2300 is the length we chose for this exercise. If you times that by 4, that gives you 920 millimeters as your furthest away point. 2,300 times your innermost point, 0.25, will tell you that that's 575 millimeters. So you can drill your hole anywhere on this joist between 575 millimeters from the edge and 920 millimeters from the edge. That's what that's telling you. Regarding the size of the hole, the hole cannot be any bigger than 0.25 
of the depth of the joist and if you remember the depth of this joist was 600 millimeters 0.25 is a quarter so the hole cannot be any bigger than a quarter of the depth of the joist so in this case we had a 600 millimeter depth of joist the hole 600 times 0.25 only go up to 150 millimeters in diameter. If you have to drill a bigger hole than that, you're not allowed to in this joist. Now this bit confuses a few people because it doesn't refer to either the depth or the length, but to the hole size itself. If you've got to drill more than one hole, then those holes must not be closer than three times the diameter of the hole. Sounds a little bit complicated. It's actually quite simple once you see an example. So here we go. If the holes are 70 millimeters, and they're not allowed to be closer than three times the diameter, you simply times the diameter, 70 millimeters, by three. And three times 70 is 210. So if you're gonna drill two 70 millimeter holes, and I'm using this number just as an example, if you're going to drill two 70 millimeter holes, they cannot be closer together than 210 millimeters. If you come across this situation, which you do in more modern houses, uh, and you're installing pipes between metal web joists, then just pass the pipes between the webs and use pipe supports. And either fix them to the top or the bottom of the timber. Far easier to do than notching and drilling. So let's try a typical exam question. What the exam questions tend to do is throw a lot of numbers at you and it, it throws people out. Just take your time, work your way through and refer to the drawings because you've got them in your exams, you've got your books with you. Look at the drawing and just work your way through the question. So the question is, you have been asked to notch a joist, so that's a notch, not a hole, you have been asked to notch a joist for a 22 millimeter pipe. The joist is 250 millimeters deep and 2,300 millimeters long. What is the deepest notch you can legally cut out? And it gives you four possible answers. Now, if I were you, I would pause now, try and work that out for yourself. If you don't want to do that, I'll be giving the answer in five seconds. The answer for this is 37.5 millimeters is the deepest notch you can cut out. So how did I work that one out? We use the picture and what we're talking about is the depth because it's saying what's the deepest notch, not what's the widest, what's the deepest notch. So all we're referring to is the depth, and we know the depth is 250 millimeters because the exam question tells us that. You look at your picture, and this, the depth of the notch, is where you need to be looking. And it's quite simple. You do the 250 millimeters, the depth, times the allowance, which is 0.15, and that equals 37.5. So 
but here's another typical exam question. You have been asked to drill a hole 16 millimeters in diameter for a 15 millimeter pipe in a joist that measures 125 millimeters deep and 160 millimeters long. What is the minimum distance from the edge of the joist that you can drill the edge of the hole? Now this is something they do in questions. They throw a lot of figures at you to deliberately confuse you. Most of those figures are not relevant at all. It doesn't matter about the 15 millimeter pipe, right? And it doesn't matter about the depth. So try and sort out the figures that you need from the figures they've just thrown at you. I'm going to leave you with this one for five seconds and then I'll give you the answer. And the answer's 40 millimeters. So how did I work that one out? Well, we're looking at the hole drawing here, the drawing of where the, the, the drilling holes are the center point. And what we've got to take reference to here is the length. And the length is 160 millimeters. You know you're not allowed to drill them closer than 0.25 of the length, a quarter of the length. So what you do is you take the length of the joist, 160 millimeters, and you times it by the minimum distance that you are allowed to start your hole at, which in this case is 0.25. And the answer you get is 40 millimeters. I hope this has helped. It seems like a lot of maths, but go slowly through the questions. Refer to the diagrams. And remember, everything stems from the length and the depth. And you should be quite all right. Good luck with your exam. And I'll speak to you in the next video.